Imagine? That's video of longtime Trump confidant Roger Stone being apprehended Friday morning by armed FBI agents at his Fort Lauderdale home. His Florida neighbor, who happens to be former FL, NFL star receiver Chad Ochocinco Johnson, tweeted, FBI arrested my neighbor, Roger, before my morning jog. I've only seen stuff like that in movies. The agents grabbed Stone as part of the Mueller investigation into Trump's possible collusion with Russia. The indictment reads like something out of a movie. The Godfather 2, to be exact. Prosecutors allege Stone lied to Congress and tampered with a witness. According to the 24-page indictment, Stone encouraged Person 2, who was scheduled to testify before U.S. lawmakers, to act like Frankie Five Angels, a character who testifies against the Corleones but then doesn't say anything critical. In other text messages, Roger Stone allegedly uses words like stoolie and rat. Very gangsta. In the end, Frankie Five Angels kills himself. We don't know how Stone's saga will end, but he's ready for a fight. The dapper 66-year-old has a Richard Nixon tattoo on his back. Starting at 19, he worked for a series of presidents. By the 80s, he was running a powerful lobbying firm with another Trump confidant, Paul Manafort. And his relationship with Trump goes back decades. Stone's alleged crimes stem from his contacts with WikiLeaks, which, during the 2016 election campaign, released emails from the Clinton campaign that had been hacked by the Russians. So what exactly did Stone do in 2016? Was it legal? And what did Trump know? From Washington is Brad Moss. He's a national security lawyer and commentator who's been closely following the Trump Mueller investigation. So, Brad, what was your reaction when you saw that the FBI had nabbed Roger Stone? I won't lie. Friday morning when I caught this on Twitter, I laughed for about five minutes and Why? started doing a little dance. This is Roger Stone has been taunting and hollering at everyone for months on end. He's been bragging about how he can't be touched, how he's done nothing wrong. He plays fast and loose with the rules for years. He's the ultimate dirty trickster. He finally got caught. He finally crossed the line. And Friday morning when the FBI showed up, knocking on his door saying, open up, we've got a warrant. Justice was finally served on Roger Stone. So the line that everyone seems to be picking up from the indictment says that a senior Trump campaign official was directed to contact Stone about what other damaging information Organization One, which we know to be WikiLeaks, had regarding the Clinton campaign. Why is that seen as so important? What is Mueller actually looking for there? Sure. So this is the $64,000 question on this particular angle of the Mueller probe in terms of possible criminal coordination between the campaign and Russian operatives was always the WikiLeaks side, in particular Roger Stone. Roger Stone had what he had claimed was this connection to WikiLeaks. He had been predicting their releases. Now we've got details that someone senior level in the campaign was instructed to coordinate with Roger with the apparent understanding or belief, and we don't know why, but the belief that Roger would know what was coming, not just in general, but specific details. So the obvious questions are, who directed that person? Why was that person directed? And what was the basis for the knowledge? What was the basis for the assertion or the belief that Roger Stone was going to know what was coming? We know that in campaigns, it's, it's always good to know dirt about, about the opposition. Why is this beyond whether he lied about it? Why does this really matter? What's the big deal? With the way it's laid out, it would be a conspiracy, it would be a criminal conspiracy to violate campaign finance laws and to defraud the United States if the campaign coordinated with Roger Stone to secure hacked, illegally hacked emails from a foreign national, Julian Assange, for the purpose of influencing the election. Under U.S. campaign finance laws, you cannot receive, a campaign cannot receive anything of value from a foreign national. The senior Trump campaign official, what's the speculation? Who, who could that be? It's got to be someone high up, and the question is, who gave the direction? And there's only probably about five or six people in the Trump campaign that would have been, quote-unquote, higher than people like Paul Manafort and Rick Gates. It would have been people with last names like Trump and Kushner. So the question here, and I'm sure Mueller knows the answer to this, 
Who was it that gave the direction to that senior official and why? And what did Roger Stone tell the original person about his knowledge or lack thereof of what was coming down from WikiLeaks? Is Roger Stone a victim of his own hype? He loves to hype things up into BS. He may have gotten caught up in this by virtue of his own hyping. So they're really old friends, comrades in arms. Will he crack now that he's been indicted? He's facing prison. The moment you start facing the prospect of spending time in a four by four cell and losing your freedom, your calculation changes. Roger Stone is 66 years old. He doesn't want to spend his twilight years in jail. So if he has something, if he's got literally some really good verifiable and material information to trade, I would look in the coming weeks and months to see a deal get cut.